Hello and welcome back to this channel. This is Davidi Neptune. In this video, we're going to talk about how to deal with fake friends. All right, so we all know, we all know them. Fake friends are people who don't really have your back, people who take advantage of you, people who use you, people who manipulate you, people who don't have your best interests, people who are not compatible with you. Now, using a manipulation is a bit of a loaded word, and that's because we all use each other, we all manipulate each other to some degree. That's what society is about. Society is about give and take. So it's not necessarily wrong in of itself to use people, but there's a certain way about it where it's professional. Set healthy boundaries to people and let them know that what they're doing is not okay, that you're not going to put up with the games. If they're harassing you, bullying, or they're doing something that's criminal-like, you can welcome to invite the cops over. You can welcome to invite lawyers. I am a big fan of be yourself, freedom of expression, but there's a point where harassment and bullying, emotional manipulation is involved. Gaslighting is involved. These are more serious and criminal mis human misconduct. And when it gets that serious, these people need to know that it's not okay, it's not cool, it's not fun, it's not funny. I know on this channel I make it seem like, you know, um, you gotta, it's not really do or die, but people need to know that there are certain precautions. People must understand that when they are interacting with you that you're not going to deal with the games, you're not going to deal with the harassment, bullying, or being put down in any type of way they need to know that and this is an, uh, an issue I had in the past when I was younger I probably thought that people should just do certain things and be respectful and be polite because I used to think about life a certain way where um, in a logical fair based society people should just do certain things that just makes reasonable sense because this is what being a good person is. But my expectations and my standards crash down multiple times where people are not all playing the same game. People are not at the same place in their lives. And this is all just basic human nature because we are all animals and survival is number one. So before we get logical, survival is number one. Our instincts are way more in control over us than our logical faculties. The logical faculties is actually a weaker and smaller part of the brain, which is called the neocortex, which is the logical part of the brain. You can also ignore people. Ignoring will push people away from you by ignoring them you don't give them power, you don't give them attention, this will drop their egos because they get a more reality check, they get a more realistic check. A lot of the kind of misconduct in socializing is has to do with expectation, should, selfishness behaviors. People think that people, other people should do certain things. People think that other people should do certain things or this or that based on how they see life, based upon their own needs and wants, based upon their own desires. So other people should fulfill my desires in this type of way, which is not really how life works. In, a, in the adult world, in the real world, there is this kind of concept of trade and also networking where we conduct ourselves as professionals, this way that we meet like-minded people and we do business in a fair about way. Again, people are all scattered and distributed in different kind of places in their lives. So people operate in a different kind of paradigm. So anything that I can say is filtered by how this person is operating or that person is operating. I mean, we all kind of different, but there's a lot of general truth statements here. All right, so I did say set healthy boundaries. You can call the cops. You can call the lawyers. You can ignore them. Set healthy boundaries, say no, 
let them know that you are not going to be putting up with the games. Because when you know, when you let them know, they they will understand that there are, there are negative consequences to what they could potentially do to you or are doing to you and you're not going to deal with the crabby behaviors as long as people are making some type of effort usually it's not really a problem but in socializing you'll see that people do a lot of weird weird things a lot of weird cheap low blows a lot of insulting that if you allow it they don't respect you so when we are interacting with people respect professionalism is like high up in the in the list of priority like be yourself be expressive be creative that's like lower on the bottom be respectful be professional is higher on the top if we cannot respect each other if we cannot respect each other's opinions if we don't respect each other as people then we definitely should not be interacting or hanging out with each other and this is a topic that gets me furious this is a topic that irritates and annoys me and just pisses me off quite frankly and it's because i've seen a lot of really poor social conduct that in my eyes is is really not fair is really not um the, the best way to conduct yourself in a healthy professional in a social manner right now again this is my perspective on something when we are interacting with people it doesn't matter how enlightened we are how smart we are when we're interacting with people we we are confined to where they're at how they think about stuff so we might have a certain viewpoint but when that interacts with another person it's going to they are the ones who ultimately re- kind of judge it and receive you anyways don't allow people to harass you don't allow people to bully you if you feel violated in any type of way and if, it, if it's reasonably so i'm not a big fan of people just having hissy fit people just getting angry for no reason but you must you must 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 make people know that there will be social consequences for bad behaviors bad conduct otherwise this is going to influence your psyche this is going to affect you on a spiritual level because those emotions will stick to you and then you will need to vent it out rant ramble if you've been wronged in some type of way you're going to have to have a an outlet to express and leak out those emotions and you know this is a pretty big a pretty big thing it's when we wrong each other and we wrong other people we open a lot of doors for a lot of problems all right when in doubt be professional let me just summarize this get an authority if you have to set healthy boundaries question people's intentions if you need to don't allow them to get away with certain things if you need to question it be feel feel free to question like what are you doing what's this about why are you doing that question them because from my experience with other with people and this is because i operate in a certain way where i'm very mature i'm very fair with how i how i conduct myself but that does not mean that other people are playing that game so when you're the one who is trying to act professional and mature you allow yourself to get played you allow yourself to get cheated with people who are sneaky low vibrational people you open the doors to being exploited because you're trying to be fair and you're trying to operate in a mature way now again this is all personal this is all subjective but as a warning just be careful with how you present yourself and how people are receiving you and then try to make that adjustment and try to see if people are trying to exploit you for their own selfish benefits to feed their ego because if that's the case 
call them out on their crappy behaviors. Call them out on it. And if you guys don't have anything in common, if you and the other person can't find a common ground, a common interest, feel free to dismiss them. Feel free to let them go out of your life. Right? Because you don't owe no one anything. You don't owe no one any time. You don't owe them your money. You don't owe them energy. You don't owe them attention. You don't owe no one anything. I don't owe no one anything. You don't owe no one anything. I think that's all I want to say on this topic. Check me out on ProsperityLife as I come for more tips and strategies on how to win more life. And thank you for listening.